Hello, Raising Wellness family, and welcome to our February tarot card reading. If it is your first month here with the Raising Wellness family, I'll just let you in on what this is. Our tarot card readings are meant for the whole community as we are rising up together both individually and collectively. So I pull from two decks to help you guys in your journey with mindfulness and self-love, um, gratitude, all that kind of good stuff here in the Raising Wellness community. And I pull from these two decks. The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein and the Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. Um, both of these decks I use personally myself and I've used them for years and I love them and they are what always most highly resonates with me and also this deck I know highly resonates with a lot of people in my local community so that is why I chose these two decks to help you guys. So essentially we pull from this deck understand the message and then we grab a card from this deck and this is like an affirmation based deck and this is just going to help support you along your journey if you ever find that you have become misaligned from your inner truth your inner guidance and the message from this card this will just help bring you back home okay so without further ado we are going to pull from the sacred rebels deck first Alright, so I'm just going to shuffle these cards for you guys, they're so pretty, the front and the back, and I do have them linked below if you want to play with these cards yourself, I have that information linked below so you can purchase them for yourself. But I'm just going to shuffle the cards here, thinking about all of you guys in the Raising Wellness community, the 300 of you that are subscribed here, the almost 1000 of you that are subscribed on the Instagram page and the about 30 of you that are in the Raising Wellness Facebook community. Just thinking about all those individual lives, all of your lives. What message is it that this Raising Wellness Collective needs to hear? As a community and also as our individual selves. It's a little crazy right now. So I'm feeling like it is in here somewhere. All right, so I'm feeling like it is this card and I want to apologize if you hear any scratching noises or licking noises or chewing bone noises in the background. That is Nemo. She is here with me today and she's being quite loud. So I apologize in advance for that. Um, but this is the card that we picked. It is number 16 and it says, what you want, wants you. Here's the card. So you guys can see it for yourself. All right, so that is our first card, and our second card I will pull from the Universe Has Your Back deck. We have the Universe Has Your Back deck here again by Gabrielle Bernstein, and again, I have this also linked down below if you want to play with these cards yourself, or when I'm pulling the cards, if you want to just be able to have them at your fingertips throughout the month and have them in front of you throughout the month, then you can... Pull the same cards that we pull in this video and have them in front of you, maybe in your meditation space or in your workplace, um, someplace you're going to see them all the time. So I'm just going to pull some cards from this deck and here we go. So again, just thinking about all of you guys, thinking about all the individual journeys that you are on. I'm thinking about this journey that we're taking as a collective community. What is the message that we need to see? What is the affirmation that's going to help us and carry us through this month of February 2019? I'm 
just thinking about all of you. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pick a card in this deck for you guys. Again, I feel like it's in this top half here. Oops. <laughs> this one. I am the loving energy of the universe. So, like I said in the beginning of this video, we have these two cards pulled. We're going to get the message from the Sacred Rebels deck, and then this is going to be your affirmation that will help you just to come back to the message that's in that Sacred Rebels deck. Um, and possibly help you in other ways throughout the month too, okay? So, I am the loving energy of the universe is our card from this deck. The universe has your back. Alright. So... Let me give you the message from the Sacred Rebel Stick. What you want wants you. Is a beautiful card about basically the law of attraction. And I want to read a teeny excerpt of what is in the book that this comes with so that you can truly start diving into understanding your truest desires and wants. Um, which is also really interesting because we covered a lot about our truest desires and wants in the full moon meditation, um, the last video that we had posted up, the full moon meditation. Um, so it kind of all is in alignment, which is cool. So I just want to read this to you. The genuine desires of your heart are the sacred purpose of the soul swathed in pleasure. Yet if you have been shamed, judged, made to feel guilt over, or denied your natural desires or pleasures in any way, you may have developed a very tricky and complicated relationship with the yearnings of your heart. We often learn to distrust our own desires and come to believe that they are something to be overcome or avoided. You may even try to have these needs and desires, your biggest needs and desires, and feel like you are not worthy of them to instead make a plan B or to make a, a different plan that's smaller and um, maybe more in alignment with the views of other people around you. But what this card wants you to know is that by actively pursuing what you truly want, it will come to you you are manifesting in every single moment you are your thoughts are manifesting what you want whether they are in alignment with what you truly want or not you are manifesting in every single moment you're manifesting the perception that you have of the world around you to be able to see if you are worthy or not of your truest deepest and desire deepest wishes and desires so this card is really telling you to step into that power Step into that knowing of yourself and your truest desires and knowing that they are here for you to step onto your path, that they are callings and yearnings that are not trying to trick you or manipulate you. They are truly ways of your heart telling you what it is that you truly, truly want and need and desire. And if you have trouble tapping into what you truly want, need, desire, your purpose, you know, what makes you feel really fulfilled, then I urge you to ask yourself questions throughout the month. Is this what I'm truly wanting and desiring right now in your daily life? You know, um, ponder those questions. Really get curious with yourself. Like, be like so and so, Shelby. You know, what is it that I truly want and desire? And and ask yourself those questions in all seriousness and journal about it. Um, Recently in the Raising Wellness Facebook community, I've been sharing meditations that are there to help you become more um, connected with your alignment, connected with yourself, your truest heart and desire and passions and your fulfillment. And that first takes connecting with you and, you know, asking those questions. What is it that you want to be fulfilled? What is it that truly makes you happy and joyful? And having that meditation platform, I think, will help you to um, better know yourself and to 
have that um, have your ship pointed in the direction that you want to go and not let other outside opinions or people that may be shutting down your ideas steer you away from your path like maybe they have in the past. You know, it'll keep you focused if you practice this in your meditation. Um, practice pondering these questions for yourself and understand that you are manifesting in every single moment and that what you want what you're saying to the universe that you want, whether it's in true alignment with, with your truest passions and desires or not, it is coming for you. So retrain your mind, tune in, tap into yourself, meditate, um, and really get to know your truest needs and desires and wishes and know that you are worthy of them and having them and creating them and being in them and living them. So that is the message from this card here. And your reminder throughout the month is I am the loving energy of the universe. So really use this card to tune back in to knowing that you are loved, you are safe, you are protected, that your truest needs and desires are both helping yourself and putting more help and love into the world. So. I am the loving energy of the universe. Your truest needs and desires are going to lift you up and lift up this world as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of this tarot card reading in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and seeing where you're at in your journey, you know, sharing your journey down below. Maybe someone else in this 300 growing community of people has a similar journey or similar struggles and you guys can rise up together. Community is huge, you guys. And like I said in this video, we do have the Raising Wellness Facebook community, which is a much smaller community, but it's amazing because it is personal, face-to-face, one-on-one time with me, one-on-one -on -one time with other people in this collective that are rising up together, you know, in their healing, healthy, healthy happy journeys towards their greatest fulfillment. Um, and I also share content in there like daily meditations that I don't share on this platform or on Instagram. So if you guys want to be a part of that group, there is a link down below that you can join us. You can see right here, this is the link, this is how you get to it. Um, and once you click join, then I'll add you to that group and you can be a part of that community and post in there, post about your journey, all of that good stuff. Post about how you do this coming month of February with your goals, with this tarot card reading. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you want to see more content from me. I post two videos every week about meditation or mindfulness, self-love, um, self-growth, all of that kind of good stuff. Again, my name is Shelby, and I'm so grateful that you guys are here in this Raising Wellness community, and I will see you in the next video. I'm sending you so much love and so much gratitude wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you next time.